and welcome back to some more uh, Outer Worlds. I almost forgot the name of it. <clears throat> We're still doing some side missions. Um, yeah, I do not know how to get money. I need money. I don't know how to get it. She's not giving me much of a choice, but hopefully I could do something this episode to get money and get the thing I need. Uh, did I actually go? So, okay, side quest. Okay, I'm good. You know, it'd be a lot more easier if I just could either steal her from her or just kill her for it. But I want to be a good person and do things right. Alright, it's fine. Actually, hold on, let me... This heat's unbearable. Okay. Phineas Wells. Does that mean I, I can find him and get money? The stupid robot is not telling me anything. I can't even see his face. It's probably that person that I'm with. Who's there? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now. Or you'll parlay with the king. Not another step in that direction. Okay. Okay. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? A little bit. I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Um. I want to do this so bad. Uh, put that in, put that down before you. I don't know. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. Ew. Ah. Uh. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. Um, so can I grab that part then? You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. I like you. You're pretty funny. Uh, screw that. Tribute it is. And ain't this just a royal sum? Uh, don't we need those bits, Captain? To buy the key from the lady? Yeah, I know. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Uh... Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. Um... Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. Okay. My baby got sold to sublight. Scrap for parts. Sucks for you. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Okay. Am I your dark reflection? Shit. 
must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. Uh, okay. You can come and go in my little kingdom. I'm out. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. I can't steal from him. Smells kind of like old Bess's outflow pipes. Whoa. Oh, I want to go in so bad. I want one so bad. Do I? How do I even get up there? So cozy. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is uh, probably have to do go down and then probably go up. Um. Uh. How do I even get up there? Oh, ladder. Upstairs. Lumay's gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. Thank you. Okay. Kind of hard to figure out where to go. Yo. I mean, that was a lot. I, I could have attacked him, <clears throat> but that was just gonna set off an a chain reaction. He's probably just no one, to be honest. He was probably bluffing his way through that entire conversation. That's how you, that's how you get it. Slices, dices, cauterize, cauterize. I can't say that word, dang it. I probably said that already. Okay, let's go. Uh, no. Can I, okay, yeah. Duh. I swear to God. <laughs> You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. I got what you need. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call up at the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticore infestation. Of course there is. Okay. Don't worry, Miss Junle. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, I'll put it in. On tech. Ooh, okay. Can't have that yet. Shoot. Oh, uh, right here, I think. If I just like shoot you in your eye. I can't hear you. <laughs> Sucks to be you. I hear it. I just don't see it. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm going. Diagnostic 
Two hits, nice. Um, okay. You're talking about I don't Everybody happy? Uh, just looking at things just in case I need it for information later. So, how do you feel? My boys are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. You better. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I don't care. I want Gladys. To sell you our premium meds. I want Gladys. To hook me up. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Uh. It's a sure family is. business? The Tennysons came over on the groundbreaking. My grandmother, Chief Gain, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted. Only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. You must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Uh... It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. I'm happy for you. Why would I, why would I ask this? Oh gosh, I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special, not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducts and panels, we could work something out. Ho oh, ho oh, oh, hold on. I need her on my side. You got my attention. Uh Okay. Hey, you the one who fixed those this radiators? Is nice work. We we interrupt our regularly scheduled okay, you talk too much. You're welcome, I guess. Now Gladys better be happy 
that I got the air pack on. Cause I swear to God, that's the only thing she'd have been crying about. Oh, dearie, you got the air back on. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No. Uh. Straight to the point, eh? All right, then. On you go. No. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, trying to figure out late. all her dialogue sequence. Uh. Yes, dear. Which offer were you interested in? Well, ain't that peachy? You enjoy that stamp, you understand? And don't you dare use it responsibly. Anything else? Uh. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. I'm good. So... Hey, yeah, there we go. Nice. Gonna return this to his rightful owner. Last time someone said that they, they almost died. Do you have it? You know, my government seal? I have it. I got the goods. Oh my law. You've done it. You've saved my hide. I can't thank you enough. Now then, uh, let me see. I just have to apply the seal here. Sign like so, and... Ta-da! <laughs> Here are the forms you'll need once you reach Byzantium. Oh, and a nav key so your ship can travel there. Those authorization forms will let you speak with Sophia when you arrive. I'll send her a message straight away to let her know you're coming. She'll be delighted, I'm sure. Best of luck to you and thank you again. You Give my regards welcome. to the unreliable. Skills. There we go. Wow, Byzantium. I guess that'll be pretty crowded. We did it, guys. We got the seal, and we can finally head towards the next objective, next planet. And doing pretty good on time actually for this episode. Did a couple missions. You shouldn't say more same thing. Any intruders will be eliminated. Oh, it's you. And come on. Are you, are you gonna say it? As soon as it loads, whenever it decides that, I bet you. Captain, if you're looking for crew oh. members Ellie or Felix, they're sh they're they're drinking. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Hey. It's hot. It's hot. So why do I need a hundred thousand bits for that stupid thing when I just needed the seal? Man, I probably have no money on me after that stupid thing.
fucking fancy. Not so fast. All right, you're clear. The applicant's expecting you. That's what I thought. I mean, I kind of agree with her because I do have uh, this deadly weapon on me. Dang it! Alright. I see you haven't been shot to pieces by the guards. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, I got, I got of papers. Of course. You're that curious spacer Mr. Bedford mentioned. Just a moment, please. Madam Adjutant, Bedford's contact has arrived. Shall I clear your schedule? Yes. No, thank you, Percival. I doubt this will take long. I'm Sophia Akande, adjutant to the chairman. I've been reading all about you. This dossier from Emerald Vale was especially in have. Uh, you have a file on me? I have a file on everyone. I have a file on Percival here. You wouldn't believe what he gets up to during private hours. Okay, good. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown back war, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edge War, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. Nice. Anyone with eyes can see that you're talented. But you're also unpredictable. I don't like unpredictable. What? No, I'm not. Get out of here. I have a job for you. Let me One prove of our myself. cartographers needs to be retired. Kill I him. I want you to carry it out. Uh, yeah, why would I help you? The opportunity to become the board's most valuable freelancer and all the perks that come with it. Rachel Lockwood, cartographer for the Bureau of Exploration. She's done some sensitive work for us. But now she's a loose end. Lockwood has to go. Get rid of her. Bring me her work. Then we'll talk about Dr. Wells. Consider it done. Warning! Sam's specially formulated blood out fluid remover has been known to eat through flesh. Handle with caution. You keep colorful associates, Captain. Yeah. I expect you'll put them to good use. Yeah, I know. At the very least, I expect you to do better than the other freelancer. Report back to me when you're finished. Excellent. Okay. Percival will handle your paperwork for you. <laughs> A conversation, and I'm... Oh, do you get a perk? Nope. That's, that's like every other one. Okay. Guys, I don't care what you say or what you say. I am doing this deed and gonna delete her from this game. With my deletion scythe. Is she on this planet or is she like somewhere else? She's probably somewhere else. I don't know. They wouldn't send me to a different planet. I love that slogan. A, gl a, cla or a glass for every class. True bubblegum and eat. Brass. Uh, 
Okay. Is it me or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination okay. of our budget, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are part Should I like go ahead and How does this sound? Should I, should I even listen to her? Welcome. Welcome to the Byzantium office of, I mean, Bureau. Bureau of I just didn't care. I was listening to him. And this must be her. Information learned. Yeah, I I'm gonna take from no one's here to stop me. And I'm gonna take everything from her. I mean they won't know, will they? Stomping around. You can't reach that. Excuse you. Um. Okay. This is where that that's. <laughs> Actually, it starts in the kitchen. Good. Yeah, we're doing so much work this time. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother reading like throughout all that the terminals because I can't really even see it. If you guys wanna read it, you can. Just pause the video. The enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Okay. Surprised there's not like collectibles with those comics that I've seen so far. Like they should give me like a perk on a random thing. I'm afraid I can't come down anymore. Oh, wrong way. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Go for you. I don't care. I'm waiting until they decided to get DLC to make your own houses. Like, order that online and put it anywhere you want to. Not online, online, just... Is this you over here? Get away from me! Yeah, I really didn't care about her dialogue. I was told to do something and I did it. 
in any other game, we don't care about what our our prey is thinking. We just have to do it. So, and that's like a whole entire different dialogue I have to go with. And I got an achievement for doing it. And I really don't want to piss off this person. Man, I, I'm just thinking. I just thought I was like, how crazy will cyberpunk be with like the branches of like... Contraption does nothing in this city work anymore. Ooh. Reminder unit modifications performed by unauthorized technicians are yeah, um, not authorized by the parent company. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. All these Doesn't branches it without grit in your gears to gain authorization credentials. An engineer so... must be registered as the unit's designated caretaker. Did I actually remove her body? I don't think I did. It's fine. It's all good. And... Megan, really, really good time. Up, my dude. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Uh. Wonderful. I'll file the appropriate paperwork on your behalf. Meanwhile, Adjutant Akande would like a word with you. So it's done. Yes. Lockwood is dead. Were you watching me? Don't look so surprised. You're a potential investment. Of course, I'm going to keep an eye on you. You followed my instructions to the letter. It's rare to find a freelancer with the S discipline of a soldier. See what I mean? You've demonstrated your talents. If you're ready to talk about Phineas Wells, I'm prepared to listen. Uh, you want him? You can have him. He's living out of the lab up in the ring. Yeah, I know where he's hiding. How badly do you want to know? I appreciate that you want to drive a bargain. You understand I'm not paying you for anything less than reliable information. Wells had to be in touch with you somehow. Find his communication terminal and send us a tracing signal. Once I verify his location, I'll arrange for your payment. I'll take care of it. Good. I look forward to it. Percival will file the appropriate paperwork on your behalf. Once you sent a tracking signal from Wells's lab, we'll move on to the next step. As instructed, the code for our secure communication channel. On behalf of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, I bid you good day. Oh, just a receipt for your services and my receipt for your receipt and also a standard declaration of intent to perform espionage. Excuse you. I'll see to it personally. You need a receipt for my receipt. Okay, let me put the rest in this because I haven't... And oh, there we go. So, guys, any opinion? Are we gonna get in trouble today? Not that I want to, just 
seems to happen around you, that's all. Eh, uh, you're fine. He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Then why'd you ask him? I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. Oh. Uh. That's not exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Do we really need all this skill? I have to go through three checkpoints just to get the bathroom break. Can't be too careful. Uh Is it outside or in here? I don't know. I think it's outside. If it's not outside, I'm gonna probably turn around and go back in. Have to watch another cutscene or Loading the screen, not cutscene. And we'll sit back in there because I'll probably go back upstairs. Jesus. Put a tracking div or a tracer on the terminal, and that's pretty much all she's all she wrote. Yep, it's back inside. Jesus, why? Why did I do that? I mean, if they live in the same building, how hard is it for one of them to do it? I like walked right past it too. Okay, we're going too high up. Did I go? There's two different. That's oh. Okay, fine. Whatever. I could go to a different planet to do this. I wonder if I'll get in trouble if I like just scan through the terminal. If not, I'm good. Welcome aboard, Captain. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate? Sure. Like myself? Or what is this? Question mark? No. And H three O. Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mind the mess. Sir. I haven't had a visitor since, uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Mm. Um. communications to 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. Nice to... Nice talking with you, my dude. I'll probably come back and see you later. Most likely to kill you. Not gonna lie. Knowing these people, they want me to be a bounty hunter, which I don't care. Um, I don't know how long. I do have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Your signal made it through. Why not? You pinpointed Dr. Wells's orbital lab. Excellent work. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. I... don't care what the question is. I just want to get my money. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Can we talk? Okay, what is up? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. Okay. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Uh, of course, just let me know how can I help. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. I'm just suggesting we stop by when we're in the neighborhood. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. Uh... But I worked so hard. I dropped the accent, picked up a swagger, developed a taste for spacer's choice. Uh, that's the problem. You try a little too hard. Hmm. Well, I bet they won't know the difference. I bet they'll barely recognize me. And West Philadelphia was born and raised. What? You're joking, right? Oh, well, I was thinking you'd come too. Okay. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. I gotcha. You're the boss. Anything else? No. Uh Okay, you know what? Really? Really? Really though? A little bit. I've been Ah. Oh. No. I thought that was yeah, never mind. Oh, um Greetings, customer. Uh Let's see. I don't know. Please avoid damaging yourself or others while you are out. Don't tell me what to do. God. 
Uh, I think these two out. I guess. Haven't really done anything with these two people in a hot minute. I have to get along with everybody. Not just the robot and the the other girl. Hey, hold on a second. I want to work. Uh, what? What? So is this how it's gonna be? Adjutant tells you to kill somebody, you kill somebody. No questions asked, no trouble to your conscience. Uh, you're wrong, F. You think conscience is not troubled. Am I wrong? I'm not so sure. Rachel Lockwood was a cartographer. She made maps, she wasn't hurting anybody. So tell me why she deserved to die. Uh, <laughs> she was bad at her job. Watch your mouth, Felix. Oh, I ain't afraid of you, boss. Your tough as grit routine might leave some poor sod quaking in his boots, but it won't work on me. I'm still waiting for an explanation. Tell me why Lockwood deserved to die. Ah. Uh, well, is there anything else? Nah, we're done here. What do you need? Uh. I don't know how we're ever gonna see eye to eye, as long as you're working for the board. Do you what? wanna? You got a ship. You got the run of the colony. So tell me why you're bending a knee in front of the adjutant. I do what I want. I ain't asking you to do anything for me. I'm asking you to do the right thing. And if you can't, then we're not going to be on good terms. Never mind. Let's just move on. I killed a lot of people with this scythe. Do you want to be next? Dang. I was having a good day until that douchebag. There's always that one crybaby on the team. I'm the captain. I do what I want. If you have a problem, I could leave you here. I really want to. Nothing. Forget it. Oh! Yo, my dog, can I trade you? That has some like acid on it, man. Hey, girl. I'm curious. Wells may have been a delusional madman, but he risked his life to save yours. So why turn him in? Uh. He was trying to use me. Beauty is an old-fashioned notion, but it is one I respect. I had to turn him You've in. Done well. He was a criminal. You're efficient, talented, loyal. And if you're ready to get to work, we can finally start doing some good in this colony. Uh... Work with us, and we'll make you the richest freelancer in Halcyon. Uh. There has been a surge in off-world broadcasting coming from Monarch. Much of it is propaganda. All of it is illegal. We need those broadcasts shut down. Okay. Uh, seems simple enough. We appreciate your confidence. But nothing is ever simple on Monarch. All of Monarch's extraplanetary broadcasts are routed through Devil's Peak Station. I want you to claim Devil's Peak Station for the board, by force if need be. Monarch Listen, is a den of I gotcha. Keep your wits about you, and remember that you're doing the law's work. 
Um. I have an agent working in Stellar Bay, Everett Gill. Have a word with him as soon as you arrive. Okay. The passphrase is, "The kind of pine grows at night." The kind of pine grows at mind. The kind of mind grows at night. The kind of the kind of grows at night isn't the name of a romance. Yes. So what? Look, that's not important. <laughs> Get to Stellar Bay and find Everett Gill. Okay, I'll take care of it. Speak to Percival before you go. You'll arrange for your nav key and your reward for turning in wells. Oh, snaps. Wait. Um. Why? Never mind. Uh, no, no skills. Uh huh. Yeah, no perks, not skills. Adjutant Akande has instructed me to reward you for information leading to the arrest of Phineas Wells. Please allow me to extend my felicitations on a job well done. Thank you. I appreciate it. Quite so, madam. I've authorized your ship with an official board certified nav key. Do exercise caution while visiting Monarch. As an acting agent of the board, you are entitled to purchase a selection of official board certified equipment at a discount. Do a let me know if you wish to take advantage of this special offer. I am at your service. Give me some trades. Uh, can I, can you hook me in one of those glowing scythe things? Man, how much money do I got? I got I got seven thousand bits. So <clears throat> um oh. I don't know. Uh, so you might junk. Want some food? No, you don't. Okay, um, I don't know what to buy. Uh, let me see which one is and Okay, thank you. Um, I want one of those so bad. And I think 
this is a really good place to end it. So I'm gonna head to my ship. I think I went the wrong way. Not gonna lie. Yep, I went the wrong way. Okay, sure. The. I sure hope you got a Kande to pay you up front for that sleight of hand with Wells. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, you seem to be doing her a lot of favors. I figure if the board's rates are that good, I might as well ask you for a reference. Uh. Just make sure you have your terms in writing. Maybe tattoo them if you can spare an ass cheek. But those mm. board folks are slippery. Ah. Uh. I don't know where else you'd put them. Face tattoos are tacky, and you want to save your back for a real work of art. But I'm getting off topic. What I really want to know is why cozy up to the board in the first place? I don't. The crews I've run I don't know. I'll have to be someone. Can't argue with that. Most anyone who's tried is a sooty crater by now. For what it's worth, I think you're making a smart move. Just watch your back. Thank These you. New friends make bad enemies. Uh, thank you for the Don't advice. Don't mention it. Just speaking from experience. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, you're fine. You know, I don't even want to talk to you. What if I just like took care of everybody over here with a, a slice and dice? I really want to. I really want to so bad. Okay. And I go for the loading screen, but yeah, um. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video Peace out